Dajia Hao. I welcome you to Jade Palace Yamigo. My name is Yaya. If you haven't noticed by now, Chinese culture tends to love double numbered holidays. So let's get started. The double ninth festival, Chongyang Jie, falls on the ninth day of the ninth lunar month. Much like the Dragon Bow Festival and the Mid Autumn Festival, Chongyang Jie is an ancient holiday that dates back thousands of years. This year, Chongyang Jie falls on October 14th, which means that this video is a little late, but I did want to reserve October for Halloween. But better late than never. And I am going to be completely honest and say that prior to researching for this video, I wasn't really aware of this festival. My family didn't celebrate this holiday, so I grew up not knowing about this holiday at all. So, what is this day about? You guys are probably familiar with yin yang, yin yang. Well, based on feng shui, nine is considered an auspicious number. Why is that? Well, because nine is a yang number, which means that it is filled with positivity, as opposed to six. Which is a yin number. Yang is associated with positivity, brightness, and masculinity, while yin is dark and feminine. So, double nines means that it is a very good and auspicious holiday. This is why this day is called Chong Yang. Chong means repeat, so it literally translates to repeat yang. Another reason why this is considered a positive and auspicious holiday is because double nine is also pronounced the same as the word to signify forever. They're both pronounced jiu jiu. Nine nine jiu jiu. Forever jiu jiu. <laughs> as I said earlier, this is an ancient holiday, and just the same as all the other ancient holidays, the origin dates back thousands of years ago. The Double Ninth Festival originated during the Warring States period, almost 3,000 years ago. It would become popular during the Han Dynasty and would officially be regarded as a folk festival in the Tang Dynasty. Again, much like other historical festivals, there is a legend associated with its origins. The myth begins with a demon that plagued the land. Whenever it showed up, people would get sick and die. The citizens suffered greatly from the disease that was ravaged by the demon. There was a man named Huan Jing whose parents had died from the plague. He decided to learn on how to slay the demon. There was a rumor that an immortal lived in the east on Zhongnan Shan and he decided to take on the long journey until he finally found the immortal. Moved by his dedication and behavior, the immortal taught Huan Jing how to kill the plague demon. He bestowed upon him a sacred sword, the blue dragon sword, Qing Long Jian. One day, the immortal told Huan Jing that the demon would return on the ninth day of the ninth lunar month. This was the time that Huan Jing needed to return and kill the demon. So the immortal gave Huan Jing a bag of dogwood leaves and a bottle of chrysanthemum wine. When Huan Jing returned to his hometown, he directed his family and the villagers to climb the mountain for safety. He gave each of them a cup of chrysanthemum wine and some dogwood leaves so that the demon would not follow them. As predicted, the demon emerged from the river, but became dizzy due to the scent of the dogwood leaves and the chrysanthemum wine. Taking advantage of the situation, Huan Jing slayed the demon with his sword. From then on, drinking chrysanthemum wine, wearing dogwood leaves, and climbing mountains became the tradition to celebrate this festival. How is this festival celebrated now? Many of the celebration traditions and customs come from the origin myth, but there are several other ways that people can celebrate. The act of ascending heights is a very important celebration custom. This is why this festival is also sometimes called Height Ascending Festival. During this festival, people will climb mountains or towers, 
And this custom stems from our ancestors ascending mountains in order to escape ill omens or disasters. There are many ancient literatures and poems that depict this activity, and this is a custom that we continue to this day. Like the Qingming Festival, this is also a day where people would visit the graves of their ancestors in order to pay respect. They would clean the graves, repaint inscriptions, lay out food offerings, and burn incense and joss paper. We also wear dogwood leaves, zhu yu, in order to ward off evil spirits. And a heads up that different provinces will also have their own celebration customs. For example, in the Shandong province, they drink spicy radish soup to bring good luck. This comes from the saying, which translates, drink the radish soup, the family does not suffer. There are several food traditions that are associated with Chongyangjie as well. One major food that we will eat during the Chongyang festival is Chongyang cake, Chongyang gao, made from rice. This is again due to our love of wordplay. In Mandarin, cake is gao, which sounds like height and ascension, which is also pronounced gao, perfect for a festival that is all about climbing. Obviously, we also drink chrysanthemum wine, as this was one of the objects used to slay the plague demon. But if you cannot find wine, chrysanthemum tea works just as well. The reason that chrysanthemums are so important isn't just because of their role in the myth but also because of the time of year that the Chongyang festival falls on. During this time of year is when it starts cooling down and is the season when chrysanthemums are in bloom. Chrysanthemums have been a beloved flower since ancient times. So not only do we drink chrysanthemum wines, but women will stick them in their hair or hang branches around the house to avoid evil. That being said, I really do like this holiday because it's also known as Senior Day, which was established in 1989 by the Chinese government. Remember how double nine also has the same pronunciation as forever? This is why this festival is also regarded as an auspicious day for longevity. On this day, we send good health wishes for the elderly. We visit send greetings, and show respect to the senior members of our family. So while it was officially in 1989 that the Chinese government established a double ninth as Seniors Day, we have always had traditions that celebrated and honored the elderly as holiday customs. On the other hand, Taiwan has recently rededicated this day as Senior Citizens Day, Jing Lao Jie, which has replaced the Chongyang Festival. So another reason why that I love this holiday is because you're supposed to show respect to your elderly. So for those who don't know, my grandparents are like the most important people in my life. So this is my grandma. Mm -hmm. She is the light of my life. She is my whole world. And I wouldn't be the person I am without her. Apple, can I just say hello? <laughs> So she likes it when I say I love you in English, but not in Mandarin. I love you. Me too. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say, I love you. So give her some love in the comments below. There are so many famous works of art and literature that feature this festival. One famous poem from the Tang Dynasty is Double Ninth, Remembering My Shandong Brothers by Wang Wei. 独在异乡唯一客, 每逢佳节被思亲, 遥知兄弟登高处, 便差诸于少一人. This poem translates to, As a stranger living in a foreign land, Longing for home during the festival, Far away, knowing that my brothers have reached the mountain peaks, they wear their dogwood leaves, but one is not present. We have this ancient holiday, but there are so many great modern ways that we can celebrate. So if you can't find a mountain or tower to climb, 
we can find some other way. I really encourage you guys to either visit or volunteer at a retirement home. Talk to the residents there. Listen to their stories. Not only can you really make their day by spending time with them, but there's so much you can learn from them as well. They live their lives and can give a new perspective based on their experiences. I have a Teespring if you'd like to support the channel. I have a lot of super cute designs that I'm really proud of, so please check it out if you can. Link is in the description below. So what do you guys think? Who are the seniors in your lives that you would like to celebrate? Leave a comment down below because I would like to know. Also, please leave a comment if you can. It really does help out small channels like mine. You can also let me know what topic you'll like to see me cover in the future. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Jay Palace Yamingo. I would very much appreciate it. And until next time, 再见啦, bye bye!